I'm probably gonna regret it here pretty soon, but you know, at least I have to try it. I'm not gonna think much, but I'm gonna jump. Oh my god! Good morning from Oslo. So I'm currently inside the Nabo Peace Prize Museum. Pretty cool yellow building just next to the harbor. Center is free with Oslo Pass. I'm gonna put the link down below for the Oslo Pass information and it is worth getting. So every December 10th, Oslo hosts the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony in the city hall just across from this museum. Even though the rest of the Nobel Prizes are awarded in Stockholm, Sweden. With your fingers, you can point out to certain things on the page and it kind of pull out more information as you go along. It feels like a Hogwarts with the wand, you know, just like magical. It's kind of cool. So, a family of refugees, a warm welcome. And what does your welcoming face look like? And then you need to practice. Double Peace Center is interesting. There are some information about the recipients of the Nobel Peace Prize, but it's very interactive and it's very informative. So if you like a lot of readings, a lot of history, this is um, a good museum for you. Next stop is the Red Huset, which is the town center, and it's just located across from the Nobel Peace Center. This is where every year on December 10th, uh, the Nobel Peace Prize is awarded. <laughs> all the silverwares that they use for the Nobel Prize ceremony here in the city hall, which is kind of cool. So the next stop is the Museum of Oslo. This is actually not far away from the Vigeland Park, so if you are coming here from the city center, you can just visit it at one time. Museum is this building right here. It's called the Frogner Manor and this is a farmstead that was to be one of the largest in Oslo. This whole area has been hosting the Museum of Oslo since 
and also some of the artifacts that they actually discovered. There's a lot of paintings. There's famous people that I unfortunately don't really know and including some kind of furniture, just some kind of like uh, costumes and of course some of the artifacts from the medieval time. This is such a small, small museum but a kind of rich of information. And I was told actually locals favorite things to check out here is the uh, art exhibition. It's one of the famous Norwegian artists and highlighting women's accomplishment in art and painting. Woman on easel. The museum actually has two parts and this is the second part of the Oslo Museum. I guess this particular section of the museum is dedicated to the life of Oslo in the 1970s. Um, yeah, it's not really my favorite uh, decades uh, ever, but it's pretty colorful. Of course, every time I think of 1970s in the Scandinavia, I keep thinking of, you know, ABBA, but that's a wrong country altogether. Pride flag. Speaking of colorful. to attend an event called the Good Night Oslo. It's an event for Norwegian literature. Unfortunately, uh, I won't be able to understand it, but I was invited to come over and enjoy the, the famous Ordna Sauna. I think I actually said it wrong, but it's Ordna Sauna. <music> Salt has a cafe and it's a perfect place to view the harbor and then across from the harbor is the opera house at night it's gonna be so beautiful so we're gonna come back here and then check out the uh, harbor at night basically a complex where mostly locals hanging out here by the promenade Oslo. It's a series of different type of saunas and some conference room where you can have events and festivals. There's also a place where you can eat or drink. So there's some pizzeria and there's some uh, swarma and a bar. Ardna sauna, a dry sauna where you walked in and there's a theater that you can fit about 100 people in a very hot uh, sauna condition. And the option for you to jump into the fjord. Sure, the water is really cold. Uh, obviously, in the winter times, you can't really do a lot of time in the water. But you can always run back into the Ordna sauna and get warm up really, really quickly. <laughs> In order to access the sauna, you can ask for a canvas bag and then where you can put all your belongings and then you can chain it up to a locker. The Ordna sauna is hot. As soon as I stepped in, it just feels burning um, and I actually couldn't stay long. Uh, I had to step out and then now I'm about to jump in into the fjord. I'm probably gonna regret it here pretty soon, but you know, at least I have to try it. I'm not gonna think much, but I'm gonna jump. I think. Should I? Yeah. Oh my god! I can't 
can't believe I did it. <laughs> Water is cold. I'm not lingering around too long. That's so cool. Let's go back to the sauna. It's nice and warm up now. Obviously that was really cold. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's supposed to be pretty good for you too. a very interesting uh, Norwegian or I would say Scandinavian culture so they're really big into sauna and I'm so glad I'd be able to experience it it just is really like you know soothing your soul <laughs> come here with a lot of friends is actually a really cool place to hang out and I would like to thank Visit Oslo and also the salt sauna for having me to experience this this is so cool What's your welcoming face look like, Bjorn? Hey! hey. <laughs> He's a warm German. I am, I'm trying! So the next stop is actually not far away from the Nobel Peace Center. Just across the street, the, uh, um, the city hall. <laughs> What's the name of it? The Red, Red Huset. Red Huset? Red Huset. <laughs> 